Welcome back, guys and girls, to more The Walking Dead 400 Days. Thank you so much for the huge support on part one. Keep crushing that like button, add to your favorites, and let me know that you want more in the comments below, and I will bring it to you fast and furious. We've got a character to pick, and I'm feeling like it's time for a birthday party. Why? It was pretty awesome. Let's see if Shell can continue the thunder. Here we go. Hey, Shell, your sister's getting pretty good, huh? Becca had a good teacher, Steph. Thank you for doing that. She needs something to focus on besides, you know, everything else. Yeah. Growing up in a world like this, what do you think that does to a kid? Hmm, I don't know. Apparently makes some good guitar players, but I'm trying to protect her. I'm trying to protect her from it as much as possible. Things are stable here, for now. I wanted to grow up with this, not what's outside these walls. Becca's a good kid. These are shit times, and she's gonna go through that. But if we can keep her from experiencing some of the shit I've seen... Thanks, Stephanie. Thanks. Becca, that was great. Thanks, sis. You think we can do something like this every week? Hmm, maybe. Becca sort of looks in a strange, weird world like another Clementine. That sounds like a great idea. Maybe we can all get in on it, like some kind of weekly talent show. That was amazing, Becca. We could all use a little more music in our lives. Did I ever tell you that I used to play in a band? Yes, Roman, you've told us. She doesn't want to hear about it again. All right, all right. In that case, let's get back to work. Oh, and thanks to Boyd's hard work on the vegetable garden, we're having fresh soup tonight. Okay, let's get to it. You want to help me and Shell do the supply inspection? Cool. You check the flashlights this time. I'll look over the guns. All right, sounds good. I mean, I know it's not Clementine, different hair, different face, but sort of kind of maybe an older version. Okay, but be careful. People's lives depend on those. We can't have them screwing up because we got lazy. Shell, when you get a sec, meet me out back. Help me feed the watchdogs. Sure thing. All right, goodbye, little sis and pretty guitar teacher lady. Probably the most attractive person in all of Walking Dead that we've seen so far. I'll leave her to her inspections. We've got to go see what's up around this diner. Let's look at some knives. Eesh. These knives are looking pretty ragged. Don't worry, they're on our list. Alright, apparently we'll fix those up real good soon. How about the guns? Are they okay, or are they just as broken? How are we doing on ammo? Better than we thought. We haven't had to use these for a while. Hmm, that's good. What? Nothing. Let's talk. What did Roman want? I don't know yet. Are you gonna find out? <laughs> yeah, in a sec. Little sister, little sister, you are a little bit grouchy. Huh. Still one short. We never found the other flashlight? Nope. Still in the cornfield somewhere, I guess. Hmm. Who's been playing in the cornfield? You guys need help? Nah, we got this. All right. Right, Becca? You go ahead and help Roman out back. All right. What is Sodar? It's kind of a nice little poster there. The diner looked pretty nice back then. That's because they used to pay people to clean it. <laughs> also, not as many dead visitors back then. All right, where is this Roman character? I'm going to find him and see what he needs. Roman, Roman, Roman. Probably should go out the back door, not the front door. Would be my best guess if we're looking for the man out back. I, Ooh, ooh, cash register. Let's get back behind the counter. Doom, doom, chicka, chicka, doom, doom. Steal some money. Doom, doom, chicka, chicka. Buy hey, Becca, some think we stuff. should start charging for the inspections we make? 
Oh, yeah. Then we can spend all our money at nowhere. Aw. Even if we did have a bunch of money, we couldn't even go shopping. What kind of lame world is this? What is that? Empty wall. I want to make sure I check this out before I head out back. What was here? It looks weird in here without the paintings. Well, Boyd wanted something to paint his own pictures on. I guess it'll be a personal gallery in here when he's done. Boyd. It reminds me of Boyd from Psychonauts. If you ever played that game, Boyd was the milkman. And he was very terrifying. <laughs> Let's go find Roman. Roman, my cousin, where are you? God, what I wouldn't give for a cup of coffee in the morning. Well, you could probably make some if you were resourceful. This hasn't worked in a long time. Everything's, like, defunct. 236 days in there. Was that the number 241, 236? Something like that. Everything must be all crazy by now. Smells good. But the soup is still fresh. Glad we thought to bottle our water before it ran out. All right, employees only alley doorway. Uh, hopefully Roman doesn't like secretly murder and pillage us in the back alley. I don't miss going on raids for this stuff. That would be a tad bit creepy. <gasps> okay, okay. Oh, you scared me. He's hungry. Guess he knows it's feeding time. Wait, wait, is that the cop zombie? It is. It's the guy. That's the guy from. This is the guy from the road in Wyatt's story. It's disgusting. Can't disagree with you there. You know, uh, your sister said she wouldn't mind doing this. Roman, we've talked about this. Becca doesn't need to deal with this kind of thing. Listen, I know you think that giving her an easy life is what's best, but it's really not. Hmm. Maybe you're right, Roman, but it can wait. I know. I just want her to have a little more time to be a kid. As long as she knows how to protect herself, it's fine. I don't want her to stop caring about people. Okay. What's that one eating? I don't know. I'll check it out. I gotta get back out front. Looking forward to that soup. Alright, why do we have pet zombies? What kind of psychotic zoo are they operating out here behind the diner that we have pet... <laughs> pet zombies? <gasps> oh, don't touch me. Please don't grab me. Creepazoid, keep eating your entrails, you sicko god. Alright, what's up with this one? Baby little walker in the back back of the back alley. What you doing? Oh, God. <sighs> is it eating a puppy? What is that? Let's get another peek. Ew, it's like a baby dog. Ugh. Oh, Grandma. I know you don't cook so well anymore, but goodness gracious, that's your worst meal yet. Sheesh. Roman, let's get out of this. Again, Freaky Zoo, what are they doing back here? Shoot some hoops? I'd like that. Although, Shell here doesn't seem like the basketball type to me. Back inside, I guess. Ugh. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, not cool. Oh, Jesus, don't ever fucking do that again. Whoa, what's your problem? I do this all the time. You don't get all pissed off. I'm sorry, it's... it's just the watchdogs. I guess they found a, a puppy. A puppy? Hmm. Yeah. I guess it just got to me. You know, it was... it was so little. You don't think about babies anymore, but... after a while you just kind of accept this is it. Yeah. I guess you kind of forget. <laughs> But then, you know, there it is. You see it and you want to protect it and... And now it's gone. That sucks. Maybe if Clive dies next, we can put him out there instead. He'd make a better watchdog anyway. Becca. Shell! Becca! Something's going on outside! What is it? I don't know, something bad. We gotta find Roman. 
Uh-oh. What's gone down while we were playing with the watchdogs? I like how our watchdogs are creepy zombies that eat people's intestines and puppies. Yeah. Come here, everyone. Shit. Come on, we gotta find Roman. This month. <gasps> it's so care to be paid. Jesus. What is going on? Largum. My God. Largum. What did you do? All I did was put on the blindfold and bind his wrists. Somebody else beat him up. He already had the cuts and bruises. Watchdogs caught him trying to steal supplies. Is he bitten? No. They didn't get that close. Damn. What did he take? Did he hurt anybody? What's this guy's deal? Did he hurt anyone? No, thank God. Who is he? I don't know. And I don't think he speaks English. I can't believe he just snuck in. Second break-in we've had in the last couple of weeks. Uh -oh. Last time we couldn't catch him. And they got away with more medicine than we could afford to lose. Well, we all know what it's like trying to survive out there. He just came in here for food. Let's just give him some. Send him on but his what way. What if there are more of them? He could have been scouting. That's right. He could be part of a larger group. If there were more, oh, I God. think we, we would have seen them. We by can't now. just I mean, shoot him in the head, though. Nobody travels alone by choice. Anymore. If you let him go, he might tell we his people. We can't just let him go. It's too dangerous. Who knows if he has friends waiting to attack? Don't you think we would have seen someone by now? At least trying to negotiate to get him back. Hmm. That is kind of strange. That is strange. That doesn't mean anything. Well, he's not staying here. You let in a stranger, and everything starts breaking down. The last time we did that, we lost Bree. And then Vernon with that goddamn boat. Vernon and the boat are the reason the group fell apart. Not trusting strangers. I was right there with you when we jumped that woman and her boyfriend for their boat. That was wrong. That's when our group fell apart. He can't stay here. I agree. Keeping him here is not an option. In his condition, he'd be a drain on our resources. Look, we all know what we're talking about here, so let's stop dancing around it. We either let this guy go and take our chances, or we kill him. Oh my god, I can't, we can't, we can't just freaking blindfold and kill him. Jesus Christ, are you serious? Roman's right. It's gotta be one or the other. Holy crap. We're letting him go. It's the only right thing to do. I'm telling you, we can't do that. But killing him? Is that really the answer? Stephanie, Boyd, you two don't think we should kill him. We know where Joyce and Clive stand on the subject. You're the swing vote here, oh, Shell. Oh, God. What's it gonna be? All up to me. I, oh God, I, I don't want to let him loose and have his whole people attack us, but I can't just kill him. We have to set him free. We can't. He's not even armed. We can't just kill him. This isn't in self-defense. Isn't it, though? If it means he can't come back to hurt us? That isn't the same thing. But last time... Joyce, that was a long time ago. If we kill this man, then we're giving up a part of ourselves that we can never get back. I'm not ready to let that go. Cut him free. I hope you guys know what you're doing. Me too. What do we give got? him some food. When? Three or four cans. Just as a gesture of good faith. And get him out of here. I don't know if you can understand a word I'm saying. But you better understand this. You came this close to death today. And if you ever ever come near this place again or tell anybody where we are you wish you had died today hope she's proud of us Roman sure doesn't seem to be a little bit grouchy a little bit grouchy Do you have any fours? Nope. Do you have any sevens? Hmm. Playing some card games, Walking Dead style. This is my seven, right? D d this one? Yes. Yep. 
I miss playing guitar for everyone. It was stupid, but fun. Why don't we do that anymore? Since the attack, there's a lot we don't do anymore. Uh oh. We shouldn't have let that guy go. Oh no. Boyd would still be alive and everything would be the oh, same. Boyd agreed God. it was the right thing to do. Anyway, Roman's obsessed with keeping this place secured now. You know that's impossible, right? Well, after last time, Roman isn't taking any chances. Then he should fix the loose board behind the storage lots. Becca, are you sneaking out again? Mmm, Becca. We're all locked up inside of these card games, and you're just sneaking out? Don't let anyone else know about that spot. Just in case. In case of what? In case something happens, and we need to get out of here in a hurry. We've got to always be prepared. Shell, I need to talk to you. Uh-oh. It's open. What's going on? Hey, Becca. Hey. When you uh, get a sec, I need you to come out and talk to me. It's important. Okay. I'll be outside. You'll see me. All right. Give us a minute. Yeah. Just don't take too long. What was that all about? I don't know. Hopefully it's not the boards. Maybe he found out about the boards? Shit. You think so? If he did, I won't say anything. But you better stay away from there for a while. Okay. Good plan. Stay here. It'll be just a minute. I'll fill you in when I get back. Alrighty. Roman, Roman, Roman. What's up, buddy? Angry buddy. Uh-oh. Think they found the board. So our bloody little visitor from earlier apparently alerted the troops and attacked our settlement. What the heck is that about? You save a man and he's a dingus to you. Freaking zombie apocalypses. How come no one's watering these? Yeah, why isn't anybody wearing the plants? We don't even play guitar anymore. Somebody surely has time to deal with the plants. Look at Boyd's unfinished painting. I don't even see it. Oh, here it is. I like her jacket. Kind of a sad moment considering Boyd was killed in the attack. Joyce, what do you think about all this nonsense? As the elder wizardress of the League, what's up? Joyce, do you know what's going on? I don't know if I should say anything. Please, what is it? They caught Stephanie Steele. <gasps> and then trying to escape. Oh my god. What are they gonna do? I don't know. What can we do? I'll go talk to Roman. We'll figure it out. Trying to steal and trying to escape? Freaking guitar teacher gone rogue. What's her deal? Let's look at the truck. It's a pretty truck. There's not much on it, but hey. Is this really necessary? <laughs> oh, they have Stephanie locked in the truck. I see how it is. Roman and Mr. Red Subtitle Dude. Roman? Good. You're here. I heard about Stephanie. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? You know what we do. Uh-oh. What happened? We caught her trying to escape. Oh, God. Now she's a risk? Maybe she wasn't? So what? what's the big deal? I don't even understand. Explain. Well, so what, Roman? Ever since the incident, this hasn't been an easy place to live in. If she doesn't want to stay, let her take her chances out there. Well, A, she had most of our seeds, medicine, and ammo with her. And B, you know we can't let anyone leave who knows where we are. She screwed us, Shell. All of us. And now we're in that position again where we can't keep her here and we can't let her go. You do know why I'm telling you this, right? Oh god, you want me to take care of it? Is that what you're is that what you're insinuating here, big boy? Yeah. You want me to take care of it. You and Boyd were the ones who fought to let that guy go. Convinced us all to take that chance. But we did. And it was wrong. And now Boyd is dead. We're beyond the luxury of taking chances now. And I need to know that you're with us 100%. But she's so pretty and nice, I don't want to kill her. Can we please talk to her first? Let's talk to her first. See if we can talk some sense into her. No. Uh. She tried mm. to sneak out and leave us without any medicine or extra ammo. 
She knew that could mean the death of any one of us. If we give her a second chance, she might not try to leave so quietly. You got your gun? Oh, God. It's in the camper. I'll give you a few minutes to get your head together. Oh, God. What do I tell Becca? That's up to you. Whatever you say, I'll back you up. Oh, my God. They're going to make us kill her. Oh, boy. What do we tell this little girl? Shell? What's wrong? Am I in trouble? No, this is gonna be hard for you here. Stephanie tried to escape. Maybe we should just save her the burden, and then Stephanie disappears, and maybe she got carried away by a fairy princess to a faraway land on a mountaintop with a beautiful prince. I like that option. Save the innocence. Don't get into hysterics. Keep the camp calm, because we're about to do something nasty. It's... it's nothing. Nothing you have to worry about. Shell, just tell me. Someone was caught trying to steal our supplies. Who? Stephanie. Wait, I said don't tell her. Ugh. Oh my god. What the hell did she do that for? Roman says we have to... Kill her? Yeah. Why would she do this to us? Gosh, so much for saving face, Shell. She's just scared. She made a mistake. That'll be our last mistake. Becca, Stephanie is your friend was my friend. Wow. Roman wants me to do it. I'm sorry. Uh, let's just get it over with. Your gun's over there. In the drawer. Oh my god, I don't... Point blank shoot somebody for stealing? I mean, I know we gotta protect our own and... and save our... settlement, but... Uh, this is... I don't like zombie apocalypses. They bring out just the worst in everybody. <laughs> I mean, maybe the best in a few select people, but for the most part, what if I take these keys? Can I just drive us away right now? You know, we don't have to do this. We can just go. What? Ooh. We've survived on our own before. If we just go, we can be out of here before anyone can do anything about it. Are you crazy? Where would we go? There's nothing out there. As long as we're here, we're safe group will protect us but for how long i don't know longer than we'd survive out there besides you know the rules if we try to leave roman will hunt us down we don't have a choice this is who we are now hmm it was a good plan though i don't want this to be who we are just let me do it then whoa no you just can't freaking Whatever, 13-year-old girl killing random people. I wanted to escape. Thought we could just get out of here and not deal with all the ruthlessness of this society. But I guess we got to be responsible and own up. I'll do it. No, I'll do it. You shouldn't ever have to do something like this. I just need a second. This really sucks. Yeah, it does. Shell, it's time. Oh, God. This episode is full of plenty of tough choices, and it looks like we still have the drive-away option. There's, on one hand, you know, we kill her, we, we still stay with the group, we deal with, you know, the benefits they have and, and kind of put up with the crap, but we could get out of here now, make a break for it, and not have to have a death on our hands, and who knows, maybe Roman goes crazy and thinks we stole something next, and maybe me and my sister should just get out of here and... and brave it together we've got some good supplies in in the rv and we could make a run for it and not deal with this dwindling psychotic little place at the diner shoot a woman drive away i think i'm gonna have to take door number two what are you doing shell shell what the hell sit down get safe shell hey shell be safe oh, okay. Boom, just like that, a crazy end to Shell's 
little portion of the story. What is going to happen next? Remove her from the bulletin board. It's down to three. Let me know in the comments below who you think I should play as in the next part. And if you're excited for the next part, definitely smash that like button. The more likes we get, the faster I will post these videos. Hope you guys are all enjoying. Until that time, though, guys and girls, have a fantastic day. The Walking Dead 400 Days is awesome and full of really intense choices. I'm loving it. Thanks so much once again, guys and girls. Drink some hot chocolate, and we will see you all later.